hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can be able to create a calculator using html fluid css and some javascript so as you can already see i'm um, in visual studio code which is my ide and i've created the project folder called calculator app main and i already have the file uh, idex.html which is currently empty so i'm now going to have the html markup just place the exclamation mark and hit the tab and there you have that markup and to be able to style my calculator as i've mentioned i'll be using Teleweed css and just to make things simple and fast i'll be using the Teleweed cdn so i'm going to go to my browser here and um, i'm going to navigate to the press cdn that is in the Teleweed documentation and uh, i want to grab this specific uh, line because i want to have it within my html file so i'll head on back to visual studio code and here i'm going to have that specific line and by just having that and having some internet connection i'll be able to directly use teleweed css so uh, with that um i want to see what i'm coding side by side so i'm going to just click on go live this is because i've installed the extension live server that will help me to be able to uh, see what i'm coding live so let me just set up things here real quick all right so i'm just going to click on go live now and that should automatically open on my right side on my browser and i'm also going to make it a little bit smaller and as you can see currently we don't have anything there but if i come and uh, type anything then i should be able to uh, automatically see that on that other end so that means now everything is working for us um we'll also be including some uh, custom uh, css but that will come a little bit later so we're going to maybe change this maybe we can call it a simple calc uh, like that and then we're going to get things started by uh, styling our background and we're just going to give it a background of slate 100 so that will be that uh, glare color now we can start um, the calculator and we'll start with the main uh, container and um, um, everything within this container uh, this is how it should be styled so we're going to add a few digit classes to help us style everything uh, within this um, container and the first thing is that uh, everything should be in a column so i'm going to talk about flex flex call for the height i'm going to talk about uh, h screen so this is the height of the screen from here down here and uh, we also want to have this calculator at the center here so we're going to center the items uh, horizontally ladder uh, vertically so item center and uh, we're also going to center them horizontally so we'll talk about justify a uh, center and that will be okay now we're also going to have some shell containers here so we're going to have yet another container here and uh, now uh, for this specific uh, container the items within it should be styled this way so the first thing is the bg uh, which should be a uh, glare um, 50 some sort of glare but close to white and uh, we're also going to have the height with 80 though we are going to change it to auto data we'll see why we want to do that we also want this to have a shadow of md and it should also be loaded md as well so for now we're not seeing anything yet because we don't have any content but once we have the content everything else will just uh, span out very well so um we're also going now to have uh, the top part of the calculator so we're going to have the container that is going to lap all contain all that so um this is how everything should be styled within it so the first thing is that the items should flex uh, in a low and uh, we should also have them um justify 
a between so just for a between so what this will do is that it's going to have uh, two items on either side of each other so one will be on the left and the other one will be on the right and then we're also going to have the margin right and left of four and also margin top and bottom of four uh, which is the same with just saying uh, margin four yeah so um this one is going to like uh, consider the margin top bottom and right and left and is the same with just saying mx4 and my of four so sometimes it's good to have it this way because you may want to have this being less than this or this one uh, being more than the other so sometimes we have it that way but if you want it to be fixed or loud you can just say m um, and then you put the number uh, now after that we are now going to have our heading or the name of this calculator in fact we're just going to call it calc and as you can see now everything um, all things are now starting to take shape let's style this heading one so the first thing is to have it with um some weight and uh, this one will be extra bold plus also the size of the text should be 3xl and um for the text color we are going to give it slate 800 all right so now um after that we're going to have yet another uh, container down here so um for this one we're going to have the items here flex uh, in a low and uh, for the spacing right left uh, we're going to have it with four so now what i want to have here is um let me have it in a container first and here i just want to have the name them just in case someone wants to like um toggle between dark and light theme now um we're also going to style this as well so we'll talk about flex and um having it with a flex we can be able to um decide where the items will go and we can talk about items and uh, we're also going to talk about the font being bold and the text um, being slate 800 all right so uh, that's working fine but we forgot one thing that is uh, the width so we can also give it a width of 80 as well so now yeah it's looking fine and now you can see that uh, this one being at the end it pushes it to the very end and also having the justify between her helps us to have the items on um, either side of each other now um, having done that we can just below that uh, container we are going to have a few things um, so let me just talk about uh, container and for the items within this container they should be in um, a column and uh, what I just want to have here just a few stuff so in fact I'm also going to lap them again and uh, I'm just going to put some values here uh, this is just some values like that you can see right now they are in a loom but we want them to be in a column so we're going to talk about a flex flex uh, call all other sorry um this this one should be in a low other like that yeah that one should be in a low uh, because <clears throat> we also want to have um, something else below the values so 
uh, in fact it's just like we just have it uh, so div and i'm just going to come and style this div so first thing is that it should flex in a low uh, so flex low and uh, we also want to have it with a padding of one that is padded padding all loaded and uh, for the bg we're going to talk about red 100 and it should be loaded full that is to mean it will be a circle and we are going to give it a width of 14 so we have it there very nice then um, we are also going to talk about uh, justify center because we want the contents of this container to be at the center now uh, within that container we are also going to have another container um, which will contain nothing because it's just a circle so we're just styling the container so um, in this case we're going to give it a bg of red but this time loud 500 and a width of 5 and height of 5 and it should also be loaded full yeah so we have it there like that but we do have a problem maybe with the bg of the first one i don't know um let me see bg led 100 yeah so that's what we wanted to attain there now we're also going to come to this span and other than them just being uh, in a low we want to have them distributed so that they fill the whole of this space here so we are going to talk about justify um, evenly so in this case what it's going to do is it's going to have them uh, distributed uh, evenly taking the available space like this space that we have here is going to distribute them so that the space between them is the same the space allowed one the space allowed two the space allowed three is is the same so um and then we're also going to have the font being bold yeah so something like that so it's just like to help you like when you're moving this for example uh, you can know maybe at what point it is from it's yeah um it's just some styling there so nothing uh, important to do with the calculator it has to do with the theme all right so um having completed that therefore we can now go ahead and have the values uh, values that we're going to have here this is like now what um, will help us see like all right so um So what I'm just going to do, just to be able to know where I should have the next container, I'm just going to come to this container, this one that has the MX and MY04, and I'm just going to hide that. Uh, that's because now the next container should be below it, like that. And now here I'm going to have a form. The form will help us to be able to do the calculations and also be able to fit the numbers um, for now it will not have any action or any method um, in fact um, I can remove all of this like so and now I'm going to come down here and I'm going to have my first um, 
container so this is one that is going to have the space where the numbers will be appearing and so for this one we'll say i will give it a class of display um so just to help us know that that's where the values will be uh, displayed um and now here i'm going to have an input it should have uh, a type of um, class or text sorry and uh, we're also going to give it now a few classes here so one is the background which should be slate 50 just whitish and uh, we should also have the font there being bold for the text we want it to be a bit big so we'll give it um, um, for xl it should also be loaded md and with a full width and for the height we'll give it 14 and uh, for the padding top and bottom we'll give it two light left padding will give it two as well and um we're also going to have uh the items yeah no no, no. Uh, we want like for example when we click it right now you see we are seeing this line we don't want to see that line so to hide it we can talk about focus and this one will be outline and none so so that way when we click on it uh, we will not be able to see um that all right so um we're also going to talk about uh justify um justify end so this is meant to push this cursor or the contents that will appear here on the light right now they are not and this is where we're going to have our custom uh, css so what i'm just going to do is um maybe from the um Uh, first of all you see we have this div we've given it a class of display so we're going to take that uh, display and uh, maybe i can just come to the head of my html here and here i can have a style of the display and uh, it is um display and then input and then now here what i'm going to do is i'm going to have the text um align sorry text align and we should have that moving to the light and uh, we should also have a flex of one So now you can see now the text appears on the light side uh, which is what we want so now having the display ready now we can have the values we will now to come and have the, the numbers so in fact i can just come down here and uh, comment that out maybe just call it uh, numbers and uh, this one again will be in its own uh, container it's good to have containers that way it will be very easy for you to style and uh, we should also let me first of all ignore that the flex lab we will come back to it so we're going to have the mx of four that is margin right and left and uh, we're also going to have this one um <clears throat> justify center that's to have the items aligned at the center horizontally and aligned at the center vertically so items center it should also be loaded um sorry loaded md the height we're going to give it auto or rather yeah, let's just have it auto it's okay for the margin bottom and B, we're going to have it with four and a padding all rounded of four. So right now we're not seeing anything, but as usual, 
this will start to take shape as we put in some content so in fact that's what we are doing right now so uh, we'll, we're going to have the buttons in some sort of an input field this is going to help us to not just see the numbers but also when we click on that number it's like reacting like it can be able to appear on the display and so for that case the type should be button and now right now we are not seeing it so we need to add a few utility classes so that everything now start taking shape as usual start with flex that will now you'll be able to modify everything within that area or that component so uh, we should also have it with um, margin 2 uh, padding right left of 4 the text should be extra large and uh, we should also have a shadow of inner so this is going to make the shadow or make the button look like it is laced up and yeah um shadow inner and uh, as you can see maybe i hope you can be able to see it there um and then we are also going to have the font being bold um and also we're going to have the items just fight um at the center item center uh, for the width we're going to give it 12 and uh, so that they are uniform or equal and we're going to give it a height of 12 and um, we should also have it rounded rounded MB and then of course now we are going to have the sorry going to have the value uh, which in this case it should be a seven so there you have the button so now what we're just going to do is to duplicate this so that we have several of them so I'm going to grab this and I'm going to duplicate them. I don't know how many we should have. Uh, first of all, we are going to have So first of all you're going to have 16 of them so i'll hold shift alt the arrow pointing downwards and that should duplicate that 16 of them but now we have a problem because you see now what it is doing uh, it's just having them in a line like that and that's why now here we need to come and have the flex lap so that when they fit the screen they are uh they lap allowed and uh also now as i told you we are going to change the height here to make it out so that it's going to uh, take all our content so the height of this uh, white um, container here will be determined by the content and yeah that's why we need to have that there and uh, so let's just change the values here a little bit so that we know how many more we need so um this one should be six or other not six but eight and uh, this one should be um, nine and uh, this one should be the delete button so here we should have four uh, here we have uh, five here we have six this one should be a plus and uh, here we should um, 
from the plus we should have uh, one, uh, two, and three. This one should be a minus. And uh, this one should be a dot. And this one should be a zero. Well, this one should be division. And here we are going to have the multiplication. Right, so we are done with all the numbers and with all the operators that we need. So now we are going to have the some other two extra buttons there and will be for the reset if you want to remove every value and the other one will be uh, the equal sign so for us to be able to have that we're going to have them wrapped within a container and uh, this container should have the following data classes should flex but I in low and it should take a width of full <coughs> and so now we're going to have our two input fields uh, in fact um, I'm just going to grab this one because it will be almost the same we're just going to change a few things and uh, that is the the bg we just give it a bg of blue 500 and um, for the width we are going to have it taking a half for the height to remain that way so this one should also be a half and for the BG of this one should be college 500 and uh, this one should be an equals and uh, this one I'm going to call it reset so um, yeah maybe we can change the color to maybe select 50 um, same can be applied to these as well they are nice and maybe we can talk about the font being bold the equals anyway all right um all right okay so we have it there um and now everything looking looking good everything looking good uh, so um, so now as you can see if we click on these buttons nothing is happening because we expect when we click on the value we see it appear on top here so to be able to achieve that uh, what we are going to do is we're going to go to these buttons themselves and before we go to the buttons we're going to go to the display uh, this area here and uh, we're going to add a class here 
in fact not a class but a name and we're going to set that to be equal to display so this is the container that is going to display the text this one so we're having it with a name remember it was an input with a type of text um so now having done that then now we can come to our first input let's start with seven and um, at the very tail end of this we're going to have some, let me just call it some javascript and just the on click so we'll and the on <coughs> on click and we're going to set that to be equal to uh, display dot value and uh, here we're going to set that to be equal to in single quotes uh, the value that we want to be uh, displayed here and so now after refreshing if i click on seven then i can be able to see the seven appear here but when i click on it again it's not appearing because it's replacing this so what i need to do is come back to this and just in front of the equals i'm going to add a plus and so now what I, uh, that will do is that when i click on it it's not going to replace but it's going to add it it's not going to just replace it but it's going to add it and as you can see now we have the height or the number seven appearing as we would expect and so now that is what we are going to do to all the values here so that way when we click on them they will be displayed so let me just do that real quick i'm just going to grab that hold alt and i'm going to select try to select all of these one by one space control plus v and so now i need now to just change the values so let me just change the values real quick all right so that's done so now we are on this reset button so for the reset button again it will be uh, special in that we don't want it to display anything so we we'll just say on click is equals and uh, we'll have uh, the uh, display and uh, in this case we're just going to say display dot value and uh, um, value will be equal to nothing so I'm just going to put the two um, single quotes there so that will be removing everything that we have so uh, for example if I type the four then I reset it's going to remove everything and as you can see now uh, because I have the values here the on click then uh, uh, all these are being displayed wait a minute oh uh, yeah Zero. yeah so everything is appealing as we would expect so you can see now that one is deleting everything if i put the values like that and i click reset it's removing everything but uh, at times you may want just to delete one so how can you be able to do that so using this button the delete we can be able to delete one but we need to make it work so we're going to go to these and uh <coughs> 
for this we will um, come and say uh, display is equals to value and we're going to remove the plus because we're not adding anything extra in 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 case in this case in fact we are removing and uh, so what i'm just going to come and do is i'm going to have another display of value dot uh, to a string this is to me like i'll be removing one by one uh, dot slice and then here i'm going to say zero comma negative one so that's how i should have that let's see if that works yeah you can see it's removing uh one by one one by one and this one is removing all of them all right so now that being done now we need now to make the calculator work so that when we say two uh, multiplied by uh, two then we say equals we should be able to see the answer so the first thing that we're going to do is we're going to go to the equals here and uh, we're going to first of all give it um uh, give it a what give it a class of equal and then uh, the value will still remain to be equal yeah and here we're going to have everything work by writing this uh, simple javascript so I'll on click is equals to uh, display dot value uh and this will be equal to we want to evaluate the value that have been entered so we're going to say eval mean evaluate and then here we'll have display dot value and that's it just like that and so now um if I come and say seven uh, plus uh, three, that will be equal to ten. Okay, divide that by two, that will be equal to five. Uh, minus two, that will be equal to three. Okay, so if I come and say um, delete, then two. Um, point 0.5 uh, multiply that by 2 that will be equal to 5 uh, multiplied by 3 uh, maybe point 0.7 that will be equal to 18.5 you see yeah, so our calculator is working very very fine so that's how you can be able to create a simple calculator using html tilly css and some javascript hope you enjoyed see you in the next one